The man fell into the water and found a chain thicker than himself and even more shocking was that there were more chains above his head that seemed to be locking up some kind of monster. So he surfaced to find out what was going on, but as he looked out, he saw a 100 meter wave crashing down on him. At this moment of crisis, the little donkey flaps its wings and pulls the man along. Before long the wave has completely lapped over the man and the donkey desperately trying to get through the gap in the huge wave. After the wave, everything was calm again and the two of them managed to escape. But not long after they escaped, they realized that there was an island locked up by the chains. But to the shock of Avanti and the donkey, the island had open eyes and showed a begging look. This made Avanti feel compassionate and wanted to save the poor guy. But it turned out to be a chained giant Cohen. Tears were coming out of the Kuan's eyes, which strengthened Avanti's determination to save the Kuan. He looked at the giant's nose and thought of a good idea. He mounted the donkey and flew directly to the giant's nostrils. When he arrived at the nostrils, he asked the donkey to scratch the inner wall of the nostrils with its wings to stimulate the Kuan's itchiness. And as the area became bigger and bigger, the itchiness increased. As the area of stimulation became bigger and bigger, the itchy Kuan slowly raised his head and the seawater inside his nostrils became bigger and bigger, only to see the first chain being broken. As the Kuan's head slowly lifted, the chains were were ripped off one by one. Giant Cohen finally sneezes out a super sneeze, completely freeing himself from his years of shackles, and Avanti and Little Donkey take this opportunity to escape as well. But these two seemingly friendly creatures were previously at odds with each other. It turns out that this special Little Donkey was once a god in the heavenly realm, and because of his playfulness, he came to the earth to play around, causing a lot of damage to the farmer's wheat fields, and Avanti was assigned to guard the fields. That night, the horse fell into the river and Avanti sought his chance and tried his best to catch it. But when he saw the horse's tears of remorse, the kind of Avanti asked him to let go of the rope as long as the horse didn't destroy the wheat field. Freedom of the sacred horse was touched to thank Avanti for all he had done. The next morning he sent Avanti two sweat-blooded horses, and he himself disguised as a small donkey to guard Avanti's side. But as soon as they became good friends, they realized that something was wrong and the farmer was coming here to settle the score with Avanti. While Avanti was in a panic, little donkey let Avanti ride on him and then with a whoosh, he showed Avanti the power of a hundred thousand miles. But when Avanti escaped, he realized that the two horses were still locked up in the stables. But the donkey was unperturbed as he told Avanti to cover his ears and then whistled so that the horses would follow him even at such a distance, much to the chagrin of the farmers. But poor Avanti decided to sell the two horses to compensate the farmers for their loss. But the fact that his countryman was leading such a noble horse attracted a lot of attention. What's more, even the king was interested in the horses.